welding, cutting, and brazing. West Virginia University Safety and Health Extension. General Requirements Fire Prevention and Protection Refer to NFPA Standard 51B, Standard for Fire Prevention in Use of Cutting and Welding Processes. Move all fire hazards away from work area. Use guards, fire blankets, etc. if fire hazards cannot be moved from work area. General requirements continued. If working on great metal floors, use fire blankets to protect lower levels from sparks and slag. Have suitable fire extinguishing agents, equipment, extinguishers, water, sand, etc. in state of readiness near cutting and welding operations. General requirements continued. Fire watch must be available where there is a fire potential or where combustible materials are closer than 35 feet to the point of operation. Wall openings that expose combustible materials exist within a 35 foot radius of cutting and welding operations. Material opposite metal walls, roofs, ceilings, or partitions which could catch fire from conduction or radiation. Firewatch must have fire extinguishing agents readily available and be trained in its use. Firewatch must be maintained for at least 30 minutes after work ceases. Burn permits. Burn permit should be authorized by the designated responsible person. Paper clippings, wood shavings, or textile fibers should be swept clean within a 35 foot radius from cutting and welding operations. Cutting slash welding operations must not be performed in areas such as 1. Areas not authorized by management. 2. In sprinkler-less buildings where such protection is impaired. 3. In the presence of explosive atmospheres such as unclean or improperly prepared tanks or equipment. 4. In areas near large quantities of exposed, readily ignitable materials, such as belled paper, bulk sulfur, or cotton. Management Responsibilities Recognize safe usage of cutting slash welding equipment on its property. Establish areas for cutting and welding operations. Protect welding leads from damage, vehicles, slag. Designate an individual responsible for authorizing hot work permits. Insist that cutters, welders are trained in safe work habits for their specific task. Advise all contractors about flammable or hazardous materials. Additional general requirements. Ensure used containers have been cleaned of flammable materials, including greases, tars, and acids. Vent and purge all spaces, cavities, and containers before beginning cutting and welding operations. Purge with an inert gas if possible. Workers on platforms, scaffold, or open-sided floors must be protected from falls with guardrail systems or lifeline and safety harnesses with lanyards. Welding cable or hoses must be kept clear of passageways, ladders, and stairwells. Confined spaces. Keep all cylinders outside of confined spaces, including the torch and hose, where possible. When away from the confined space work area, remove electrodes, rods, from electrode holders, stingers, disconnect machine, power source, 
turn off gases at cylinder and purge lines. Eye protection. Welders and welder helpers must wear appropriate eye protection. The lenses of welding hoods, cutting goggles, and hand shields must be arranged to protect face, neck, and ears from the radiant energy of the arc. Cutting goggles and welding hood lens must be made of tempered glass and be free of bubbles or flaws. Workers using torches must wear cutting goggles which have at least a number four shade. Sunglasses have a number two shade. Shade of lens must be readily identified on glass. More protection. Protective clothing must be worn to protect against sparks, slag, or ultraviolet radiation. Warning signs to warn of hot metal must be provided. Excessive exposure to ultraviolet radiation causes eyes to feel like they are full of sand. Can lead to premature cataracts of the eyes. Protect against welding fumes with ventilation or suitable respirator protection. Protect adjacent workers with non-combustible or flame-proof screens or shields. Acetylene. Acetylene is formed when calcium carbide is submerged in water or in petrochemical processes. Acetylene is a very unstable gas over 15 psi. Never operate above 15 psi. Acetone, a flammable liquid closely similar to the acid in vinegar, is dissolved with acetylene gas to prevent excessive pressure buildup. Acetylene cylinders, also filled with a porous material with millions of voids to help keep pressure from building up. LEL equals 2%, UEL equals 100%. Typical acetylene cylinder is acetylene gas, 36%, acetone, 42%, porous fillers, 8 to 10%, reserve volume, 10 to 12%. Acetylene continued. Acetylene, like most LP gases, does not require high storage pressure. Storage pressure in cylinder equals 250 PSI. Acetone liquid in a cylinder lying horizontally would take at least an hour to settle to the bottom when the cylinder is set up vertically. Oxygen cylinders. Oxygen will not burn, but will support combustion. Oil and grease on oxygen cylinder valves and fittings will burn violently. Oxygen is pressurized around 2200 PSI and cylinder is hollow. Protection of valves in oxygen cylinders is essential. Knock the valve off. The cylinder becomes a bomb. Oxygen cylinders must be separate from fuel and gas cylinders or combustible materials by a distance of at least 20 feet. Setting up for cutting. Cylinders cracked to blow out dirt or dust. Acetylene cylinders opened three quarter turn to one and a half turns. Do not stand in front of regulator when turning it on. Diaphragm in regulator could blow outward. Oxygen threads are right handed. Acetylene is left handed. Oxygen hoses are green. 
acetylene is red. No more than 4 inches out of 12 inches of hoses can be taped. Open acetylene valve. Adjust 5 to 7 psi is common. Light acetylene first. Turn on oxygen. Adjust valve at torch head to fine tune flame to where blue flame is about a quarter of an inch. Each fuel gas cylinder lead should have a backflow check valve and flashback arrestor. To stop welding or cutting, shut oxygen valve off first, then acetylene. Oxygen cylinder valves should be open entirely. Turn main valve off and bleed lines. Mark empty cylinders MT or empty with railroad chalk. Safe handling. When moving cylinders, roll them on their bottom edges, one at a time. When transporting cylinders, secure vertically and with gauges unattached. Do not pry frozen cylinders. Use warm water because of fuse plug on cylinder bottom. Do not use valve caps for lifting cylinders. Clean torch tips with tip cleaner, wires, etc. Do not relight torch tip with hot metal. Special precautions. Welding fumes from zinc, cadmium, beryllium, lead, mercury, and stainless steel are addressed in the OSHA standards. Argon gas used in MIG, gas metal arc welding, operations must be handled as an inert gas and stored accordingly. That concludes the presentation on cutting and welding.